Hey guys, it's Ashley here once again from W. Hang on. Hey guys, Ashley here from WGS Radio. Whole load of uh, crazy stuff actually going on. That's why I've dragged in the man here, Double B Billy Boudreau, to help me out uh, with some charity gaming goodness. Um, yeah, we, I think I posted up a video about this the last time they did it. I think it was the Japan Relief Dump Quick one that they did last April for the Japanese tsunami. Yeah. They also, I think, one in the summer as well, which I didn't post a video up because I completely forgot about it. Um, but did raise you money for... I, but I think we talked about, about it, yeah, yeah, the Organization for Autism Research. Uh, and this time is their annual Awesome Games Done Quick 2012. They always do it in the first week of January and get it out of the way. And um, this time, as with last year, uh, the money is going to the Prevent, the Prevent Cancer Foundation, which uh, raises money and tries to aid people through cancer, through recreation, or through research, and various other things. Brilliant cause. Um, so donate what you can. Um, we're going to put a video at the end showing you all the details about it, but the bit where they do show the list of the games is admittedly tiny because they've got so many to do. Because this uh, starts at 3 p.m. Eastern on this Wednesday, January the 4th. It doesn't finish until nearly midnight on Monday the 9th. That's a heck of a marathon. So we're talking about 120 plus hours, at least, as long as things go right, which is in, in itself huge. Mm -hmm. Then you also add into the fact you're going to get to see some classic and modern classic games done very quickly, quicker than you could probably think you could imagine doing them. And also some, for some of them, You've got options on what can happen with your donations and also options, options, not the right word, but prizes you can actually win. I mean, uh, we start off with, they start off with Psycho Nauts. Personal favorite which, of know, mine. Personal favorite of Billy's, yeah. Which, with that, there actually is a prize as well as a uh, cap like the main character in the game, Raz. Or Raz Billy. Really, yeah. Billy will be feverishly going for that. I want my Raz hat. Um, Can you imagine me doing videos whatever. on here? Then you've got... Hat. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah actually. Um, then you've got also on Wednesday, you've got stuff like uh, Portal 2. Re really nice game. Uh, Super Mario World 2. Um, and uh, Deus Ex Human Revolution. Only came out about four months ago, but arguably... One of the one of the games of the year for 2011, and you can actually win it if you donate uh, however much you need in order to qualify for, to be entered into the draw or whatever to win it. Uh, then they've got looking after it. We've got Vanquish, which you can also win a copy of that as well. Uh, Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes, very good game. Uh, Resident Evil 4, God Hand. Oh, God, God Hand, which is available, I think, on PlayStation Network. Uh, very good game. If you, if you don't know about it, watch it. It's, it's a cult favorite, certainly, because many people didn't buy it because, uh, like with quite a lot of games, uh, if it doesn't have Call of Duty on it, people don't seem to buy it. Because they're morons. Um, we got, we got four Sonic got, games. We got Sonic 1, 2, yeah, and just 2. Got, well, yeah, we got. Well, before that, we got Strider. We've got a couple of Shinobi games, uh, a couple of uh, Ninja Gaidens. I think we should point uh, out the fact um, that it's not. And as I say, with certain of these, uh, you can donate for, for different things. I mean, but uh, I think the thing we should uh, tell yeah. people that it's not certain it's things. Not that, not like, with the Vanquish one that I just mentioned, you can actually donate for what language you want it played. Don't want to play English. 
But if you don't want it played in English, but you want it played in Spanish, you can go date with that. That's genius. Because then of course it just means that they can read out all the stuff in the, in, you know, the Spanish language or the French language. And then you see all the bits of the, like the character, and then, you know, et tu habite, Michael. <laughs> Some cool stuff like that. Um, then you've got Turtles in Time. Brilliant game. Yes. Uh, and Battletoads as well. And then, yeah, four Sonic games. Wait, wait, hold One, on. I think we should tell them people about Battletoads they have on here. Specifically, uh, under the, where they have their description, they, a lot of people like to use warps to beat the, beat the game and get through it. They have specified that they oh, will yeah. not be using any warps. No, no warps, warps will be used, yes. Battletoads. And that that's going to be something to see. I played it, I played it myself. Um, then you've got... Um, with the Sonic ones, for Sonic 2, you've got a don't, you can donate to choose which partner Sonic goes with. And then for Sonic 3 and Knuckles, it's, it's a case of what character is used. And then you've got, um, Sonic Adventure 2, which is gonna be a race, but then there'll also be a bidding war and everything, and various things. During all that time, there's actually a comic bundle and artwork and, um, knitted little things that you can get as well. Then, straight after Sonic, why don't we go even more classic and do a whole load of Mega Man? Uh, so, you've got what is considered to be, um, two of the most classic Mega Mans in Mega Man 2 and 3, with some various prices. Then you've got Mega Man 10, Mega Man X, Mega Man X2, and Mega Man X6 with various prizes. I'm just looking at this. You got Mega Man helmets, uh, or a Mega Man helmet, even some Mega Man manga. That's 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 a tongue twister. Yeah. That's a tongue twister right there, people. It definitely is. Uh, then we move on. That basically moves us from Thursday into Friday, and uh, next, just trying to load. Trying to load it up as my computer suddenly goes, no, I don't like charity. <laughs> boo my, boo my computer. Oh, the, after that is the start of a new feature. Awful games done quick. Awful games done quick. Yes. They have got six games which are considered by many to be crap. Uh, you've got Lagoon, Lawnmower Man, Bubsy 3D, oh, that's an infamous one. Trio of the Punch, Bad Street Brawler, and finishing with Deadly Towers. Mm. It's noticeably panned by quite a lot of people, and also the angry video game nerd over on the interwebs and all that. Uh, finally, it finishes there, and then we have uh, Gauntlet, the original Gauntlet, uh, Buzz, Bubble Bobble, Bionic Commando, Rescue Rangers, Blaster Master, uh, Mike Tyson's Punch Out and Super Punch Out. The thing is, well, Mike Tyson's Punch Out, if you donate enough, it will be done blindfolded. Wow. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Glass show blindfolded is probably possible. Probably. The others, I'm intrigued. Um, then you've got some Commander Keen. Um, then a, a couple of Duke Newcombs. Uh, Duke Nukem, the original, and Duke Nukem 3D. Thank God it's not Duke During Duke that, Duke. you can actually win a collector's edition of Duke Nukem Forever. Interesting, yeah. That should be interesting, because it's not a bad package, the collector's edition. The game is somewhere in, I'd say, in, I'd say it's about 50, 60 percent. It's not brilliant. But it's not atrocious like, you know, some games have been this year for Asgard, God, movie tie-in thing. Take note. Um, now, then is arguably a big one. After a bit of setup, there's going to be Half-Life on hard to be done in about an hour. The things you can win are a knitted head crab hat, so you can too can look like you've been eaten by head crabs. Uh, 
half-life to the game. And interestingly enough, the Valve Complete Collection, which I'm guessing is via Steam, which is Valve's, you know, online gaming stuff. So that would include all the Half-Life games and their add-ons, all the Left 4 Dead games, all the Portal games, all the Team Fortress games, and all the Counter-Strike games. That's a heck of a prize. That is a heck of a prize, admittedly. That's, you know, I am tempted to be donating during that period in order to get, or in order to be in the chance of getting that. That would actually be cool. Um, then we got Mirror's Edge, uh, Halo Reach on Legendary, to be done in only just under three hours. There's going to be some people going, what? Um, then Super Meat Boy, which Billy still hasn't played, and I'm disappointed. Um, but there actually is a chance for you to get Super Meat Boy Ultra and Ultra Rare Edition as well. Apparently as well, which is a good enough option. Uh, also an engraved meat tenderizer. So by the looks of that, the guys at Super Meat Boy have actually been giving some prizes for this marathon to SDA, so full credit to the developers there. Um, then we've got Super Mario Brothers, the original itself, um, and they are apparently going to be doing blind um, Super Mario as well blindfolded and everything, which <laughs> the last time that happened was actually pretty cool. Managed to get through, I think, the first level, which is amazing in itself. But um, then you got Super Mario World, the Lost Levels. Oh, sorry, Super Mario World or Super Mario 2, the Lost Levels. And done that way with a bidding war. Um, then we've got scrolling down into Saturday... Um, we got... The computer really goes stupid. Well, Super right. Mario Brothers 3, classic. Uh, Devil, yeah. Devil May Cry, Bayonetta, Ghouls and Ghosts, Ca then a whole load of Castlevania games with uh, signed copies of... One of the prizes is a signed copy of Castlevania Dracula X Chronicles, which I think Billy's got, which is kind of cool. Um, no, I don't. Uh, uh, oh, he doesn't. He might, do he might donate for that as well, then. Uh, Double Dragon 2... Metroid Zero Mission and Super Metroid, then the original Zelda, uh, then the th first of two parts, which is going to take in a total 12 hours, Final Fantasy VII, which is a classic, considered by many to be probably the best game ever. Uh, Zelda Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. In this, apparently, there is a 3D Zelda bundle. Now, the question is, does that mean 3DS? And the game, I don't know. It's, we'll I, find I out, think, I guess, when the time comes when I we go Saturday. Think, yeah. Sunday. I think it would mean the 3DS. I'm, I'm, that's probably just a typo yeah. on their part. Then we've got uh, Demon Souls, uh, Super Mario RPG, Kirby's Avalanche, and then Contra Super C and Contra 3, so basically the Contra trilogy. During that, you can actually win, apparently, a copy of Contra 3, and a serious time pearl. Basically, serious time is the phrase used when they want everybody where they're doing the, the stream to be quiet because it's got to concentrate. So that's going to be cool. Uh, Kirby and the Amazing Mirror and Kirby Superstar Ultra, which I think is the, is it the new one? Um, is that I Kirby? Not, I can't no, remember. I, I thought the new one was Kirby Yarn. No, there was one after that. I'm not sure. I don't, I don't know. I'm probably wrong. I'm no, nearly always wrong. Then you've got a, ch a choice between Pokemon Red or Pokemon Blue. The prize for this is a Pokemon Red cart with every single Pokemon that can be exist on Pokemon Red, which is all 151, including the elusive Mew, that you're not supposed to be able to have. So if you're stupid enough to delete it and lose all those 151, it's your fault. Um, then they've got, uh, and again, another bidding war between Zelda Oracle of Seasons and Link's Awakening DX. Suck it! No, sorry, that's wrestling. Sorry. And then after that, Link to the Past. Then they've got uh, a few hours of Earthbound. 
Then we jump back into Mario with Super Mario 64 and Super Mario Galaxy. And then we're in the final day, people, on Monday. We've got Serious Sam Second Encounter, where you can win uh, via Steam Serious Sam HD Gold Edition, which is pretty damn cool. Uh, but then between this and the playing of EG, Magicka, and Unreal and System Shock 2 on the PC, they're actually you've got a chance of winning a Steam code for the Elder Scrolls Skyrim. Yes, another Game of the Year edition right there. Holy crap. Another great prize. Then they got Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1, 2 and 3. Sunset Riders, Metal Slug X and Metal Slug 3. Bomberman 64. We love Katamari. I know Billy does. Um... Then we've got Super Monkey Ball, Prince of Persia, the original, I think, and Prince of Persia, Sands of Time. It, Prince of Persia actually might be, if it's not the original, it might be the 2008 one. I don't know. Possibly. But Prince of Persia, Sands of Time, which is cool. Shadow of the Colossus, which is a beautiful game, which we should all get on PS3. And then it ends with Final Fantasy VII again. But during that, you can either win an RPG bundle for the PlayStation and Sega Saturn, a Super Nintendo with games, and the most interesting thing, which of course they say right to the end, an actual Zelda Master Sword. In between that, there is God knows how many other prizes as well, and God knows how many other things you can donate for. So, please go over there, please donate. We'll put the link in the bottom, but it's speeddemosarchive.com. Starts at 3 p.m. Eastern this Wednesday, and um, if you can't take our word for it, check out the video that's just about to pop up. Not out of my nose, thankfully. 